What's up you guys, it's Paul here. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I made a 761% profit on, um, on a Pinterest call option and how you can trade options around earnings on a particular stock to achieve exponential returns like this overnight, okay? Now, if you enjoy this video, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you would be notified of future videos like this, okay? Now, to get into the video, I want to teach you how I actually come up with these ideas and how, what kind of trends I'm following before I place options like this and only then should you actually go and buy a call or put options around earnings okay now um, before I even actually go to the trends though please understand that options can be risky especially around earnings because there's no a hundred percent way of uh, knowing for sure how the stock is going to behave after earnings so be careful when you're doing this make sure you're not putting in too much at once to buy a bunch of call options or put options ex and expecting that the stock is going to grow a certain way, okay? So be sure you control your budget, be sure you uh, understand the risks and only then go ahead with it, okay? Now the first strategy that I use is to use a website called TradingView to determine how the stock behaved historically around earnings, okay? Let me show you how that works. So here I have TradingView.com here, I'll put a link to it in the description if you haven't seen this website before. And here you can clearly see how the particular stock behaved historically and even shows you with this little E here for event or earnings around which you can understand how the stock behaved historically, okay? So the most recent earnings prior to the July 31st was on May 5th here. And as you can see, right after earnings, the stock actually dropped from $20.60 to almost $17. If you go further back here, it actually went up from $23 as high as $25. If you go further back, it dropped here. If you go further back, it went up. So as you can see, this gives you an idea, but it's never a 100% con confirmation on how the stock is actually going to behave after earnings, okay? That's when you need, to, you need to understand how to use technical indicators to understand the trend of that stock, okay? Now I'm going to make a, another video after this on how I actually use technical indicators to understand the trend of a particular stock. But once you understand that, you will know for sure on how the stock is behaving and that will give you a much better idea on top of this, okay? Now, if you look at the chart here to understand how the stock is actually behaving and to understand the trend, I use the primary indicators that I use are the 200 day moving average, which is the red line here, the 50 day moving average, which is the green line here, the moving, moving average converge and divergence line here where the blue line is the leaning indicator and the orange line here is the lagging indicator and what you'll notice is every time the blue line crosses over the orange line you know that the stock is actually going to get into an uptrend every time it goes down it's actually going into a downtrend now the way to be a hundred percent sure whether it's going up or not is when it actually crosses the zero line Okay. Now, none of these are 100% confirmations, but it, all, it gives you a high level idea on how the stock is actually behaving here. Now, obviously, since the March lows, the stock has definitely been on an uptrend. But if you notice here, both the 200 moving day average and the 50 day moving average are still in a downward slope. So there's no way to know for sure that this will keep going up. The first indicator that you have to look at is when the stock started coming down here, it hit the 50 day moving average, which becomes a strong support. And then it started going up again. And as you can, as you can see, this 50 day moving average started going up. That's when you understand that the stock is slowly starting to turn and, and it's confirming your bias that the stock is in an upward trend. Okay. Now, as you can see in this downward trend based on the moving averages right after earnings the stock dropped if you look here the stock has been going up slightly right after earnings it popped if you look here the stock has been on a downward trend right after right after earnings it dropped here slight upward trend right, right after earnings it went up okay now these are again even though these are indicators you cannot say for sure that the stock is going to behave like this after earnings okay now that's when I actually look at other similar company earnings as a preview for how the stock is going to might behave around earnings, okay? So as an example here, I looked at Facebook. Facebook's recent earnings, they absolutely killed it. The stock has been going up and up and up. Out here, the stock dropped. 
out here it kept going up and if you looked at pinterest before it actually matches up with how facebook was doing same thing with google after earnings they popped here after earnings they dropped matches with how pinterest was doing now the reason i was interested in, in pinterest is because a lot of these big techs like Facebook and Google and Amazon, they've been under a lot of heat from the government uh, with a lot of probes into how the company is performing, how much control they have, and how they're influencing people through advertisements and the content, okay? But companies like Pinterest and Snapchat, on the other hand, have, have kind of been under the radar social media stocks, which have actually been doing pretty well. That is where I realized that, you know, uh, since there's so much attention to Facebook and Google, maybe I should get some calls on Pinterest. And I've noticed that the stock has been on, on a downturn for so long, and it was just time to turn, and I figured out that this was a good time to actually buy some shares of Pinterest as well as some call options on Pinterest, okay? Now, another thing to evaluate after looking at other company earnings was to evaluate the current trend for the products or services offered by the company in that industries. So what that really means is currently because of the pandemic, you know that most people are staying at home, working from home. So among other work from home opportunities are companies, the companies that are doing well are actually social media stocks because people are on social media a lot more than they were before. Okay, and that shows that this is actually a great opportunity to potentially make big profits on social media stocks. Okay, so knowing that I knew that Pinterest was potentially going to do pretty well. And the, these earnings before from other companies and uptrend confirmed that Pinterest was potentially going to do well. And before Pinterest earnings came out, Facebook earnings came out and they absolutely killed it on earnings. And that was a bit of a confirmation for me that the stock might go up. So what I did was I bought it on June 2nd. It started going up. I paid, a, a, I actually bought five uh, $23 call options for an average cost of $135. And I've noticed that by July 10th, a lot of them have appreciated really quickly. And I started selling off a couple of my calls so that I could lock in my profits and avoid uh, any downside risk, okay? So I made $445 here, I sold a few more calls, got $435 here, and for a total of $880. So what that did was, I recovered my complete investment of $675 by selling four of the options for $880, and that way I avoided any more downside risk. Now, after earnings, if Pinterest didn't shoot up like I expected it to, and even if it goes down, now I know for a fact that I didn't lose any money because I already locked in profits and I already made back my initial investment. That's how we avoid avoid down risk, like I showed you in my previous video if you watched it, okay? And then earnings came out. Uh, Pinterest absolutely killed it. The stock was up 36% here. And that's why this particular option shot up 249% on this single day, okay? And since I've been holding it uh, since you know, June, uh, June 2nd, it went up from $135 to $1163 per call option, which was a 761% profit. Okay. Now along the way, depending on how Pinterest was going, I even got a few 30 and $32 calls here. Um, as, as the price started appreciating, I actually sold off uh, a few 32 calls and the one $30 call and converted this into a debit spread, okay? Now, if Pinterest stays about $26 by August 21st, I'll make an additional $300. If you look at the history of the $32 call here, I sold a one $32 call and one $30 call for $1,055, and I sold one more $32 call for $520 for a total of $1,575 there. And... And then I sold one more $35 call to turn this into a debit spread, okay? Now what happens is if Pinterest stays about 26, I'll make another additional $300 on August 21st. And if Pinterest stays about $35 on November 20th, I'll make another $300. But at this point, whether that happens or not, I've locked in a good amount of profit, made a, uh, made 213% on this 32 call, 761% on the $23 call, and that's exactly how I trade options around earnings, okay? 
So here are some other general option strategies that I use typically around earnings, okay? Now in this case, you know, depending on the trend of that stock, you could either buy calls or puts, and you just wait for it to run up to the earnings state because a lot of times the stock can go up a lot up to the earnings state, and then depending on whether it goes up or not, if, you, if you're not really sure, you can actually sell, sell out of your calls and lock in the profit. Or if the stock has gone has been going down and it was in a downtrend, you can actually sell your puts and lock in some profit. And that way, irrespective of what actually happens after earnings, you're not really risking anything. Okay? So, and in this case, since it was in an uptrend, I decided to buy calls and that's why I made that profit. Okay? Now, when you're doing this, I would highly recommend choosing an ex expiry date of at least three to four weeks, which is why I bought the August 21st calls. And this way, if it doesn't really go your way, you actually will have enough time to manage your risk after earnings. Okay. And I would also sell out partial calls or puts uh, so that you would lock uh, you would lock in some profits and get back your initial investment. And that way you actually won't risk losing your money. Okay. Another option would be to use what are called strangles. In a strangle, you buy both a call and a put option that is expiring either a day or preferably a week after earnings. Now what this lets you do is, if none of the previous indicators give you a clear direction for how the stock might behave, buying both call and put options, what it essentially does is, after earnings, when a stock goes up, so much the call option will shoot up exponentially like 230 230 plus percent that you saw on the calls that i bought but the put on the other hand might only drop 30 to 40 percent it's still a lot but it but the call that has shot up 230 percent more than compensates for the put that you bought in that way what you would do is you would sell out of the call or put which has which has gone up a lot but to add to lock in the profits and then you would convert the stock the option that you lost on into a spread so that you at least recover a portion of uh, into a credit spread ideally to at least lock in a portion of your losses and avoid uh, having it go down all the way to zero okay so these are the different strategies that i use around earnings and uh, so yeah based on that if you have any questions please leave a comment below and uh, if you like if you like the video please please like it be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell and uh, thank you for watching until next time